in Canada and I growing up, you know, I made some decisions that weren't really positive. Um, after high school, I ventured off and I became a housewife, yes, at an early age. I didn't get to, you know, go to college or further my education. And, you know, what happened, um, it kind of hampered me now that I am, and I was, I'm growing up to be an adult. So I went to Canada and not being able to finish or to further my education, I was limited with jobs. So while being in Canada, I did apply for um, permanent residence, but I was I, I had some challenges because of my educational background. So I remember working with this lady, and my check paycheck was a thousand Canadian dollars. My rent was six hundred and fifty Canadian dollars. I ha was leasing my furniture, which was two hundred dollars, and my phone bill it varied between five hundred to a hundred dollars. So there wasn't like a lot of money so, so I can purchase food, um, food. But you know, I was being independent and I love, I love that feeling of being independent. So anyway, this, I work with this family and this lady, she wasn't very honest. And you know, there are some bosses, um, because they know, uh, because of the job type that you do, the kind of job that we do, they kind of look down on us. So I, I had that problem. So I was working with this lady and every week, and I am honest, I, I am very honest. Every week, my paycheck, she would give me $100, and then she would start complaining, oh, she doesn't have this money, and as if I was her child. So I was always behind with my rent, I was always behind with my bills, and I could remember not having any money to purchase foods or stuff for myself, okay? So I decided that, because I'm a no-nonsense no person, I decided that I would leave her, her job. Uh, my last paycheck, she paid me. It was a bonk check. So I got paid on a Friday. I went to the bank and I deposited um, the check, you know, and I withdraw some monies from the bank, which you can do that. And that was a Friday. So the weekend, um, and what I did with that, I paid my rent because half of my rent because I was behind with my rent. So anyway, I went to the bank the following week. I needed just a few money, you know, some money to buy a few groceries. So when I got to the bank, I went up to the teller. I just needed a, a bro, um, sorry, about $20 to buy some food until lower down in the week. So when I got to the bank, got to the teller, I was shocked. The teller said I didn't have any money in my bank account. So I was like, what are you talking about? I, of course, I have money in my savings. And then she she really told me that the check that I deposited, the, the check from my boss, it was a box check because my boss didn't had insufficient um, monies in her account. So I began sobbing, yes I did, in Canada Bank, yes. I began crying because I just needed some money for food and I was saying, I, I poured out so much of myself working for this lady, I know that I just need some money. Like, you know she unfair to me and I began crying and while I was crying I remember this gentleman he walked up to me and while walking up to me he put a pile of money in front of me and he walked away so I I, I was shocked I was like what is this and I ran so I could tell this man thank you I appreciate it so when I, I ran after the, the, the guy when I went towards the guy it's like he disappeared he was like an angel in disguise so I, I went back to the counter, and when I went to the counter, I saw 200 Canadian dollars. So folks, when I say I come from humble beginnings, I know where I've come from. I know what it is to have um, just potato to eat during the day. I know what it is to wear torn clothing. And I, I've come from a long, long way, and I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful that God provided this opportunity for many of us there are many of us with the same testimony if it's not the same it's similar to it okay and my mother my affiliates my colleagues they would often hear me speak about my mother how much i want to give back to mommy but they don't understand during that time in canada i was struggling financially and my mother what she really did was she went into her bank account she emptied her bank account to make sure that her daughter had food, to make sure that her daughter had her rent paid on time. So ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a treat this evening. I'm not going to bore you anymore with my stories, 
but I can tell you, Vida Divina provides an opportunity for many of us, whether you are a college graduate, whether um, you drop out of school, it doesn't matter your age, um, I shouldn't say your age, it doesn't matter your race or your creed, Vida Divina is for everyone. So ladies and gentlemen, this evening, I would love to introduce our presenter for this evening. I really don't know how she does it. She is our mentor, our Jade leader, a mother, new, newly mother. And I, th I find she, that she makes a lot of time to make sure that she's helping people to get wealthier and making sure that they become healthier. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get some fire emoji in the chat section for our presenter this evening, Miss Aisha Queen, all the way from Maryland. And now she's in Jamaica. Yes, yeah, she lives in two places at the same time. And she'll explain to you how she does that. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, get some fire emoji in the chat section for our presenter this evening, Miss Aisha Queen. Go 